This is Umar Ahmed from IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the, probably the best sports direct in the UK here at Oxford Street. I'm joined by Adam Smith. Yeah, the press tour for Taylor Catraw is done. Um, respectful throughout, but just a little exchange up there between Josh and Jack. It shows that business time is coming soon. That's it. They have huge respect for each other, which is refreshing because we've got such an amazing start to 2022 with Eubank Williams and Khan Brook. And obviously we know the needle and fire between those two uh, pairings. But I think with these, they're friends. They have that mutual respect. Um, Jack was out in Vegas for the Ramirez fight. And, you know, he, he stepped aside and allowed Josh to go through with that. And Josh, you know, agreed his part of the bargain, which was to give Jack the first shot at the belt. So that's the, the niceties and the, you know, the, the dignity and respect and honour they have as fighters. Uh, but now it's business. Of course it is. And I think it started at the head-to-heads yesterday where uh, Josh said, oh, you know, I'm getting a bit of sick of seeing you already. And then they share the same plane down. They, they stay in the same hotel. And up there, yeah, finally, there was a little bit of a spark. And I'm sure we'll have that on fight week as well. Um, I like to see the respect. Actually, this is a really good fight. Uh, both undefeated, undisputed uh, titles on the line. Wonderful, wonderful achievement by Josh Taylor. We're so pleased to have him back on Sky Sports. And uh, it's a great fight. And it's a great fight in a great arena on February the 26th. Um, there is that respect and there'll be plenty of uh, hugs after the final bell, I'm sure. But for now, they have to go and uh, prepare diligently over Christmas, over the festive period, um, to one, to retain all the treasure and the other to become undisputed champion. And Josh was saying yesterday, it's like a lottery ticket for Jack Catterall. I mean, he's got nothing to lose. So uh, he needs to be on his, uh, on his best game, uh, Josh, and I'm sure he will be. And it is England v Scotland. It is yeah. the first time... There is an undisputed fight between two Brits and it lands on Sky Sports. So a historic moment for you guys as well. Yeah, we're really, really pleased about it. I mean, it was uh, a shame that we didn't get the Jose Ramirez fight in May. I had a lot of questions about that and I was gutted myself that we couldn't show it on Sky Sports. But, you know, business deals are business deals. And I texted Josh straight afterwards to congratulate him. And I said, I hope we're going to be working very soon together. And by way of our exclusive four-year deals with Top Rank, Josh's promoters and with uh, Ben Shalom and Boxer, we've managed to get Josh in the UK on Sky Sports defending all of his super lightweight titles and it's absolutely fabulous. It's a, it's a great time for us. It's a learning time. The last few months have been difficult but they've been and challenging but they've been very productive and I think as you've seen with the announcements of the likes of Caroline Dubois, Savannah Marshall, Tasha Jonas, Last week, Fraser Clark, we're beginning to get some momentum and we're building into 2022 with, I think, arguably the, the greatest start to a year that I can remember uh, with Eubank Williams, January the 29th, Carnbrook in Manchester, uh, mid-Feb, and then the end of February, we're going to Scotland for, for this barn burner. So really pleased and worked very hard with Ben and with John Washusen to, uh, to get us to where we are. There's great competition out there. We know there's another a number of, of fights this weekend, next weekend on the zone. We know that BT obviously had the Anthony Yard fight last week and Frank has a big stable. It's hugely competitive at the moment. Well, that's great. We're enjoying it. And uh, 2022 is going to be a fun year. If I'm being honest, um, when this whole change happened, there were a lot of questions about what Sky's future is going to be with boxing. We know you're committed, but the actual product that you're going to be putting on, as you said there, must be very pleasing. You've got Eubank Williams, Taylor Cattrall, Calm Brook, and that's all from January to February. And obviously a hot signing in Fraser Clark just recently announced. Everyone wanted a signature. So it's a big statement from Sky. Yes, I think that people thought, are we just going to sort of trundle out of the, the picture? We, we uh, obviously had all our fighters go you know, with Eddie to DAZN. Um, all with our, our best wishes, you know, we had great relationships with, with many of those. I've seen Lee Wood here today and couldn't wait to congratulate on, him on his incredible achievements in the last year or so. Um, and it's fantastic, you know, uh, we, we've, we've been with Katie for a long time and we wish her and Connor well on Saturday. Of course, you know, we've had a great deal of business over the years and, and we were really successful together. But I think when Eddie made that decision, we, uh, we could have just, you know, just had, had a sort of a little interest in boxing you know we've got obviously the Premier League we've got the, the Formula One the, the cricket the golf everything else 
the, the darts about to start at Ali Parry. There's loads of uh, really hot sport on Sky. And where did boxing belong? Well, it was great. We got our answer. The bosses backed us. We got 18 shows a year on top rank, which I think has been fantastic. You know, the first few we've had, the likes of Inoue, and we've got Lomachenko again this weekend, but Terbiev next week. We've had Michaela Meyer. We've had Crawford and Porter. We've had a great start from top rank, which is brilliant who also, you know, bring us Josh Taylor, but in uh, collaboration with Boxer, a UK show for February the 26th. And yeah, we've made some, some clever signings, I think, some smart signings. And we're not saying that, you know, we've got everybody. We haven't. We're not saying we're the home. We're not. We're, we're, we're building back. We had a blank canvas in, uh, in sort of May, June time. And we've worked really, really hard to get with, to where we are. And I think if you'd asked me in May, June, you know, if we'd be anywhere near we, where we are, you know, just before Christmas, I would, I would have said I don't think we will be. But I think, um, you know, John and Ben and, and everybody at Sky has, have worked extraordinarily hard. And Boxer have got a fantastic team. And Todd DeBurst's got a wonderful team at top rank that's obviously, you know, a, lot, a long way down, down the road. And, and happy birthday to Bob Arum, of course, today. It's, it's incredible, isn't it? What, a, what an amazing life and career and still going strong. And it's fantastic to see. And, you know, he still loves it, doesn't he? And I think um, that's brilliant. And that's been the story of top rank. And Boxer are, um, you know, they're new and they're fresh and they're keen, they're passionate. They, they want it to work and, and so do we and I think a change sometimes is scary I think it was scary that suddenly we, we, we lost what we had but you've got to pick yourself up dust yourself down it's a business it's a difficult business boxing um, but it's, uh, I, f I found it a really exciting period a really challenging period um, and together with John Wischusen and, and Ben Shalom it's, uh, you know, it's, it, we're getting there we're not there and it's a long term project um, but I think, you know, back end of next year, we'll be looking back at it and thinking, OK, we're, uh, we're doing all right here. We know you can sign up for tickets for Taylor Cattrall. Um, I've heard that Calm Brook pre-ticket sales have gone absolutely mental. Apparently near 100,000 sign-ups. I wanted a couple, Uma. What about you? I'm sure you did as well. It's apparently gone through the roof. They're saying, why don't we do it at a stadium? Look, it's, it's a fascinating fight. And I know there's a a great deal of people out there who are, are negative that it's happening too late uh, and I understand that I think we, we could have had two or three of them by then and, and by where we we nearly were there with with, with Eddie and, and, and Kel a while ago and Amir then took a, a sort of derailing turn to go and fight Canelo there's been two or three opportunities but it hasn't been made until now so congratulations to Ben and to to both team Khan and team Brooke for and to Sky for getting it over the line it took six months of hard negotiations like it did six months of, of landing Fraser Clark. Now, these things are tough. Um, but with Khan and Brook, you know, there were so many, you know, different things that needed to be signed off. But the, the big thing was that they both needed it probably at this time. They both wanted it. And it's still a fascinating fight. And they will be training so hard for it because, you know, the, the, the passion and the fuel is there for this. They don't want to be the one remembered as a loser from this fight. It's Khan Brook, it's Brook Khan. So I think although it is at the, the back end of their careers, I think it just generates a lot of interest still. I mean, Dave Colwell, who I hugely respect in, in the game, obviously he's worked a lot with Sky and a brilliant trainer and manager and, and former fighter. You know, he said to me, messaged me saying, do you know what, I'd sort of forgotten a bit about uh, Khan Brook. I got a little bit sort of, you know, not, not bored of it, but sort of just lost it. And suddenly it was announced again, and now I want to see it. I can't wait. And I think that's the sort of, opinion of everybody that no one will not want to watch this fight so yeah it's great to see that so many people want to be there obviously there can only be a certain amount in the Manchester arena but uh, everyone can watch it on Sky Sports box office and listen if it's a great fight we'll do it again maybe at a, an open air stadium so we can get 50 60 70 thousand be fantastic wouldn't it definitely would just before I let you go I want to get your reaction to a couple of things please Adam so you mentioned the BT show over the weekend, Anthony Yard getting redemption in some fashion. What did you make of it? Yeah, listen, I, I, I've always liked Anthony Yard. I've always thought he'd had huge amounts of talent. Um, you know, once or twice, it just hasn't sort of gelled for him. But I thought he took, took the ball by the horns, uh, you know, coming off the, 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 the first defeat to Arthur and just doing it in a completely different way. He, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was brilliant from the off. I th it was a very, very impressive performance. And... Uh, you know, it's, uh, it pushes him right back up there. I think the, the whole division is absolutely bunny, buzzing. Rather, we saw Dan Aziz the other day and, you know, the light heavyweight division. And, you know, you've got um, Callum Johnson and his big fight coming up. It's, it's fantastic. Joshua Boazzi, obviously, it's, uh, it's brilliant domestically. It's brilliant worldwide. But Terbiev and, and, 
you know, the, the light heavyweight division is fantastic, Bivol, and just terrific. So, yeah, well done, Anti Yard. Um, you know, great fight to, to have on and, and great performance. So, uh, as I said before, it's BT are putting on good stuff, DAZN are, and, and we are. And I think we've got a phenomenal start to the year, and we're, you know, we're putting our stall out there, and I think we're. You know, we're very, very pleased to get Caroline and Fraser and, um, and others, Ebony Jones and the Azim brothers. There's a, a huge amount of talent in that box of stable now. And I think that's only going to get bigger and better. But yeah, well done to Anthony Yard. Chief support, a lot of people were talking about that afterwards, obviously with controversy yeah. referring to Shiraz v Skeet. Uh, what did you make of the events that happened in that fight? Well, I hear the board are, are going to sort of invest. Yeah, they're going to investigate today. So let's see what decision they make. I'd like to see it happen again. Um, and yeah, I, I felt for Bradley Skeet a bit, but it was a brilliant performance. So I, it, it, it's a difficult one. Let the board judge that. It was controversial. Let them sort that out. And, uh, but let's get them together again. And lastly, before we close off, your reaction to Fury White being ordered? Finally. I think Dillian deserves it. I've always said it. I think he's been waiting a long, long time for uh, a big shot. And, uh, you know, when he was with us for, for many years, you know, he, he, he turned no one down. He fought everybody, you know, whether they were gatekeepers or top contenders or, you know, every, you look at the sort of list of fighters from sort of Joseph Parker to, you know, Derek Chisora back and forth. And, you know, then you had Alexander Povetkin and then, after the, the mishap in a fight camp, he then went and, and wrote the wrong in, in Gibraltar. So I believe Dillian deserves that opportunity to fight Tyson Fury. Um, you know, could Tyson Fury afford Usyk? I mean, AJ wants that rematch and yes, there's step aside money. It's a merry-go-round at the moment, isn't it? And there's lots of ways of looking at it. You know, should Anthony go straight back into the fire against Usyk? Should, you know, Fury get that opportunity? Should actually Fury fight? I would like to see Tyson Fury fight Dillian White next. I think Dillian deserves it. I think it's a great fight for British and world boxing. And uh, then Anthony fights Usyk and the winners hopefully collide i mean we all say hopefully we were so close to having fury and joshua before all of this but don't, don't write off deontay wilder joe joyce is knocking around daniel dubois coming on there's andy ruiz is back in uh, in, in hard training isn't he with the canelo team so there's a lot out there and of course we've got a new heavyweight and his name's fraser clark so we'll watch out for him too so it's a fantastic division isn't it and uh, but yeah in answer to your question delighted that it's been ordered and think it should happen Adam Smith, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV. Look forward to a massive start in 2022 for Sky Sports. And if I don't see you before next year, happy Christmas and a happy new year. Well, come and see me at Ali Pally because it's the darts. We'll be there for a couple of weeks. It's uh, the World Darts at Alexander Palace. We can't wait for it. That's the Christmas uh, you know, sporting uh, uh, fun that we love. So uh, dress yourself up, Umar. Come along and uh, enjoy the show. But yeah, uh, when we get back to January, it's all systems go towards Eubank Williams, Carnbrook and this one, Taylor Catterall, fabulous, fabulous fight and great to have Josh back on Sky Sports. Definitely as well. Take that as an invite, Adam. There you go, Umar. See you up there.